Our researcher now has a secure place to work with collaborators. So, it's time to start developing the prognostic model. Foundry accelerates studies by allowing researchers to use the tools they're comfortable with while making it easier to collaborate and to iterate. We'll walk through three examples of how Foundry enables this kind of collaboration. Every study starts with protocol writing and feasibility testing in order to identify a cohort of patients that is both medically relevant and large enough for statistical analysis. Foundry's cohorting app shortens this process by bringing medical experts, data owners, and biostatisticians to a common interface and building a library of reusable criteria. For this study, I want to build our prognostic model for patients with lung cancer using a real-world data source. I've already filtered down to patients between 35 and 55 in the US with both imaging and clinical data available and see that I have 16,000 patients matching that description. If that's not enough patients, I can easily adjust the criteria to expand the population without needing to cycle through various data experts to check counts. Traditionally, updating inclusion criteria can often take a week or more, meaning months can go by before analysis begins. Next, I need to filter to patients with lung cancer. Instead of spending weeks compiling the necessary code sets and logic to define this disease state, I can search our phenotype library and pull from the experience of other experts. In this case, I'll use the Odyssey-defined phenotype for lung cancer to check patient counts. Because all my data is already standardized in OMAP format, I can automatically import and apply any code lists and cohorts defined by the open source community. Any user can add to this library and administrators can review and promote new definitions for further use. Now that we've applied this filter, we have 3,000 patients of interest, and I'm ready to pass this over to a colleague to build the predictive model. A second type of collaboration is between data scientists developing a model. We realize data scientists and biostatisticians often use custom environments for development. Our goal is to preserve that flexibility while simultaneously ensuring that their analyses and models are accessible, auditable, and shareable. We've built Foundry to be as open as possible for data science. Our native code workbook tool allows data scientists to jump between R, Python, and SQL. And with a couple of clicks, any open source library or package can be added to a workbook. So as for our model, all of the clinical, demographic, and imaging data we need is ready to go. Our data engineers have already cleaned and linked it, and the governance team sorted permissions. As a data scientist, I get to jump right in. We can use any open source or proprietary machine learning library to extract features from the images. Then we'll train a predictive model using these in combination with features extracted from the clinical data, such as age or medical history. But what if we want to use other tools for model development? We have options. Foundry has deep integrations with our studio and also allows clients to connect to custom HPC clusters to develop with the help of specialized bioinformatics tools. Let's suppose another member of our team wanted to develop in our studio instead of Foundry Code Workbook. She can easily reference data in from Foundry and start training a model. Once she's happy with the version of the model, she can push it back into Foundry to iterate with the rest of the team. This collaboration all takes place in Foundry's model management archetype. This archetype provides a framework for model governance and reproducibility of results. We'll show what this looks like by opening up our team's homepage, the Lung Cancer Prognostic Modeling Objective. We can see a couple versions of our model, the one we developed in Code Workbook, another from our studio, and a couple more from our team. From here, we can keep track of exactly how each version was developed, update the model when source data updates, compare performance metrics, and tag versions for release into staging or production environments. Secure collaboration is especially important with highly sensitive patient data. If we're working across teams with different data access, we can use Foundry's access controls to federate further training. I might run and refine my colleague's model on data only I have access to, but then share an improved model version with a broader group. They can benefit from patterns in the data without actually accessing sensitive information. If I'm happy with my model's performance, I might move to a third type of collaboration sharing my findings for operational use. Impactful research depends on translating results into new drug discovery or improved clinical care. 
I can deploy the production version of my model for use, either within Foundry or to an external environment, such as in the HR system. At pharma companies, a prognostic model like ours might be used to refine inclusion criteria for new trials or identify patients for trial enrollment. Whereas at a provider, the model could be deployed into an external system, such as an EHR, where it could inform clinical decision-making.